All right, new development here. We got a Dutch star with an emergency. Nothing's working and we can't figure out why. So we pulled off all these Battleborn batteries to get back here. And uh, what we found was that a mouse had been chewing into the battery monitor uh, cable up there. And when did you say the battery monitor quit working? It was, it's been weeks. Okay, so a couple, a couple weeks ago, the mouse started chewing on the battery monitor cable, and then he got after the uh, VE bus cable, and that took out this inverter. So now we gotta replace that, which is gonna be a little tricky, having to get back there with those screws. Uh, but first thing, we're gonna replace that, and then uh, get that put back together, and uh, yeah, other than that, there's some really interesting things on this install I wanted to share. These are uh, custom brackets that uh, I guess Sin City Overland makes. Is that who it was? They actually they actually are sold by Battleborn. But oh, they, these brackets? They are. Okay. And uh, but he 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 has them made up and sends them to Battleborn. Oh, okay. So Sin City is the. So shout out to them. Did a great job here. And I also see they got the Auto Gen Start relay system going on. I'm gonna be taking some notes on that. A lot of cool stuff. I love seeing other people's installs. All right, still at it here. Uh, got the uh, that positive wire repaired for the uh, battery meter, battery or the BMV. Got a new Ethernet cable run for the multi pluses, and a hole cut or a hole and a return cut for a fan to exchange the air. The customer has been saying that. It's uh, been overheating a little bit in here. Hey, Mr. Bear. <laughs> That's where he likes to be. We call him Mr. Bear sometimes when he's being a gentleman. Anyway, uh, gotta get that fan wired up on there. But other than that, we are about ready, I think, to put the batteries back in. And, I mean, the thing I will say, uh, it's a couple of things I'd probably do differently in this and the customer, we've talked about this a little bit. I am not saying anything bad about the company that did this. There's a lot of good stuff here, a lot of good stuff, but a continuing conversation we've always had is what about serviceability? How do you service this stuff? To get back at the multi-pluses, even to turn the multi-plus off, it's almost impossible. My arm has to go numb with the batteries in here to contort itself to hit the switch on and off on that multi-plus. Um, yeah, some stuff like that. And uh, I think we're going to be, this probably is not the last time you've seen this one. All right. Been fun working on it and, uh, glad I could help this customer out and, uh, I better stop talking and get back to working. And just like that, it's raining, but our, uh, our little project isn't gone. He's, uh, he's staying in the night. We got him squared away, but just, uh. Keeping them overnight for observation, <laughs> we'll call it that way. Hey, I hope you enjoyed that bonus episode this week. Um, this was an example of where a customer called us up and nothing is working. Couldn't figure out what was going on. And their food was quite literally going to start spoiling. And I have a hard time making somebody wait in that situation. Uh, as uh, many of you know, uh, qualified Victron technicians just anybody that really knows a lot about off-grid solar, RV solar, is really hard to come by. So we definitely felt uh, like we needed to step up and make this happen for this customer. So uh, <clears throat> glad we were able to get it working. And like I said, it's probably not the last time you're going to see him. We're going to be doing some other work. Uh, it sounds like they want to add some more solar and all that sort of stuff. So uh, we got to make a new friend. You got to learn something and see something interesting. So until next time, catch you later.